Yeah. You know your man. Okay. I'm glad I was so here. you're not gonna let me in to deliver I, this food. Buzz people in. I have we the don't, number. We don't deliver anything here. We well, don't want you're delivery. you're not. We don't want you didn't get the here. food. I don't want you. I don't want you here. Our top story now, a confrontation caught on camera. A cell phone video shows a woman blocking the entrance to an apartment building, preventing a black food delivery man from doing his job. Well, that incident happened outside of a luxury apartment building on Kelton Avenue in Westwood. Yeah, tonight, Kate Kelly and Stacey Butler spoke with the Postmates worker about what happened. I have to deliver to somebody, man. Don't, don't deliver anything here. We don't well, want you you're, delivery. You're not, we don't want you, you didn't get the here. food. I don't want you. I don't want you here. I don't no, want you here. Here at all. In a shocking confrontation, 22 year old Jordan Gibson was trying to make a Postmates delivery Tuesday night at this Westwood apartment building. But this woman, without a mask, refused to let him as he dialed the renter who ordered the food. Excuse me, Paul, there's a woman like at the door. Uh, my name Hello? is Jordan. I'm who working in a place. Like, who is this? Excuse me, can you back away this? from me, though? No, I'm not this just, is my bill. I'm not going to back I'm just away trying from to, you. Like, who is this? Gibson works three jobs. Postmates isn't usually one of them. It's his mom's job, but she sprained her ankle, so he was driving for her. She was sitting in the car as her son was berated and blocked from delivering one resident's dinner. I'm not letting this man in. Can I bring your food to you? I'm asking you to get out of my building because you don't live here. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a black man. I'm trying to deliver. My I mom don't care if a, he's a purple mom. man. I'm he working for my mom. Here. The unbelievable encounter took a bizarre turn when the woman who claimed to live there accused him of having codes to the apartment to try to gain access. He doesn't live here, and he's not a delivery boy. He had a no car, boy. no bike, nothing. The car he that I pulled up in that white. Dominoes, that's, that's my white. Pizza hut. That's my white car over he's, there. He's Hello. He's a black Paul? guy walking so around who has a clicker to get like into any building down. he wants to. Gibson says he shot, then posted the video to protect himself. I didn't want to get arrested. <laughs> uh, genuinely, uh, you know, it's a white woman and. How things are going right now, I just didn't. I didn't know how it, you know, transpire. Finally, the customer came downstairs and picked up his dinner. Gibson says he's not angry at the woman. Unfortunately, he's used to rants like this. A lot of people are very divisive right now, so they're pretty firm on their stance, and and they show it. He hopes everyone who sees it will grow from it. Situations like the situation I, I was in, they don't make you. They don't break you. They shouldn't break you. They should just be something you went through, you know, resilience is power. I want anyone that hears me or sees me talk about this right to now? understand like, that they right have that there. same resilience. And you got to stay patient and really just be resilient. And, you know, at the end of that tunnel, you'll find integrity. Gibson's girlfriend started a GoFundMe account for him. He says whatever money he makes there, he's going to use to help minority children find their voices. In Westwood, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.